the integral of tan x dx. So what is the integral of just tangent? Well, let's see if we can figure that out. So I'm going to rewrite this as sine over cos because that seems to give us a little bit more information. And now I'm looking for a function and its derivative. That's, you know, if I'm going to use a u sub, that's how I want to do it. Well, the, if we choose sine, the derivative of sine is cosine, but that's going to leave a du in the denominator, and we can't have that. But on the other hand, the derivative of cos is negative sine, and so we're only off by a constant, so we could, we could work with that. So I'm going to say let u equal the cos x dx, cosine of x, and then, oh, not, not dx, sorry, just, uh, just the cosine of x. And then du is going to be the negative sine x dx. Of course, we can multiply both sides by negative 1 and just move that, that negative over. Okay, now let's uh, do that substitution. So we're going to have the integral of, let's see, well in the denominator we have u that replaced cos, and then sine x dx is being replaced by negative du. So I'll pull the negative out front, and we just have a du here. And this, again, is a very easy integral using the natural log. So this is going to be negative the natural log of the absolute value of u plus c. And what is u? Well, u was cos x. So this is negative the natural log, the absolute value of cos x plus c. Okay. And, and there's our answer. So that's the integral of tangent x. In the next video, we'll do the integral of secant x. See you then.